an important update coming in with regards to Carvi, and it seems that the National Stock Exchange has suspended Carvi's stock broking license. Now, remember, this has been a impending issue. Let's take it across to my colleague Ajay Sharma and try and understand Ajay because the previous time the stay was actually implemented, it was only on new account holders. Uh, what exactly is this NEC order, Ajay? Well, that's correct, uh, Aisha. This is a developing story and the bad news is that, uh, you know, the amount of uh, funds which are allegedly uh, misused, that amount is only going higher. Now SEBI is investigating that the real amount actually could be 2400 crore rupees. Uh, so this was the morning story. Now we gather that moments back, National Stock Exchange has, uh, you know, completely banned uh, Carvi stockbroking from all the segment operating uh, segments, stockbroking, FNO, uh, derivatives, commodities. So their stockbroking license has been, uh, you know, completely stopped. What does this mean that they cannot conduct any activity? But there is, uh, you know, the retail investors who hold sh uh, shares with Carvi, they, they, of course, in the last several days, have been migrating to other platforms, uh, other stockbrokers, as well as they will be able to uh, successfully take their uh, you know shares to other brokers and their operations to other brokers. We understand National Stock Exchange has done it moments back, but uh, Bombay Stock Exchange, according to our sources, is also likely to do it. Uh, in you know, in just they operate together, so they will also do it. Now, the the question is that uh, the amount of money which was misused uh, on uh, by the promoters. Uh, pledging the shares of the clients, that gap is standing at close to 1400 crore rupees. Whether the regulator go, what does the regulator do about that gap of 1400 crore rupees is some, everybody, uh, you know, questioning. Whether the assets of the promoters are attached, they have a valuable company, a fintech company, whether that, uh, you know, the shareholding is attached, where General Antarctic is holding the majority shares, that is something which everybody is talking about. Uh, but at least the pro it's progressing and regulators and exchanges are coming hard on uh, this. This is, some, this is something, a positive one. All right. Thanks for that, Ajay. That's the news we're tracking for you at this hour. We're going to take a very quick break. Back with more on the other side.